Let's do our final story before business. And Amadopa in the Volta region is the highest human settlement in Ghana. The community, which is at the base of the mountain uh, Gami, uh, boasts of breathtaking scenic views and a conducive environment for hiking and camping. A US based software engineer, Dr. Emmanuel Ami, uh, believes the community where he comes from is yet to tap and fully benefit from its tourism potentials. He is determined to change that as he has now settled in Ghana and is volunteering as the manager for the Amajope Ecotourism Center. Maxwell Agwaba has the rest of the story. Amajope means origin or home of humanity or where humans come from in Ether. Amajope, the highest human settlement in Ghana, is situated north of Ho in the mountainous region of the Ho municipal district of the Volta region. It is presently located in the newly created Ho West District Assembly. Amajope is located at the foot of the Gemi Mountain, a rocky mountain that forms part of the Ikiapim Togo range and can boast of four natural gifts, the Ute Falls, Mount Gemi, the cool and varied weather and the beautiful landscape. Finally, I'm at the base of Mount Gemi here at Amajope. I'm here to meet the manager for the Amajope Ecotourism Center, um, Dr. Emmanuel Ame. Doc. The, nice hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. What is, what is the history of Amajope and what is the meaning of Amajope? Amajope in the every language mm. means Amawopa Jope, where okay. humans come from. Where humans, humans come, come from. from. Yes, okay. Amajope. For the travelers yeah. going into Togoland, mm. they have it as Amawopa Jope. Okay. So when the travelers and traders uh, hiking through here mm. to descend to Togoland, this is where they would rest for the others to join them. That is Amewope Jope. Wow. I live in the United States, in California, Los Angeles. Okay. I'm a dual citizen of Ghana, okay. definitely born and bred in uh, Ghana, Accra, specifically okay. Dansuman. Tourism is a big industry and the world needs to go around to see what else is in other parts of the world and my interest is to have our locals also interested in coming to see beautiful places like uh, mountain tops, um, waterfalls, okay. um, let's say caves, yeah. canoes and um, world sites such as the Cape Coast, the, the slave castles yeah. and so on. But for Amejope, we have the mountaintop, we have the waterfall, we have some caves, we have very interesting views. Okay. And my interest was to bring tourism up to where the rest of the world or most of the first world has it. Mm. That is to offer first class tourism for Ghanaians as well as all of the world. Mm. So for now, there is a website okay. which is amejopevirtualtours.com. Okay. Mm. There, uh, you created that? Yes, I okay. came up with my technology skills in IT, okay. and I came up with the website amejopevirtualtours.com. Wow. wow. The former philosophy I came to meet. Uh, the tourism office was one comes to see, mm. to go tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. Okay. But the world today in the 21st century has moved beyond that. Mm. And we are trying to leverage technology okay. to be able to overcome the, the difficulties that mm. the coronavirus has placed on the tourism industry. So with the virtual tourism concept, mm. our tourists in the diaspora and in the other parts of the world will be able to click yeah. and have a pay-per-view experience yeah. for 20, 45 minutes and have 360 views of the mountain, 360 views of our waterfall, 360 views of our caves and our wonderful trails. Wow. So they don't necessarily have to come here to come and pay to view 
but they can do that online. Exactly. And uh, Amadjo can also raise some funds, some money. That is them. correct, to leverage yeah. the difficulties that COVID-19 has wow. placed on the tourism industry. And you created this. That is correct. Doc, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Interesting scenes from Amadjo uh, the highest uh, you know, human settlement in Ghana.